Sound the alarms, cause it's patch day! Woo! Okay, I just wanna give a little warning before we get into the video and show you everything that's dropped today. Um, it's 5 a.m., I'm on the first coffee, so just patience. So, like I said, today is patch day and um, we finally got bunk beds. It's been a long time coming and I guess that's what most of you guys are, are wanting to see. But there's actually something that I think is even better than bunk beds that's come in this patch, like for real. And I'm gonna show you that in just a second. Jumping into Create a Sim, we have got, I'm not sure if they're two new hairs or adjustments to existing hairs. They're new in terms of they look different. So this hair right here is one of the newbies and I think it's fantastic because look how beautiful the fade is, especially along the neckline. I think that looks really, really good. And um, yeah, it's good to see that there's more diversity in the hairs that are keeping on coming and the quality is being improved. And then the other hair, which I'm personally more excited about, is this hair. And what I love about this is the hairline as well. I think the hairlines, the detail, have improved so much recently. Like, it's just beautiful. I think they've done such a good job of this while still making it look very natural to the game. And what I love most about this hair is when you put it on a toddler, because come on, she looks so cute. Oh my gosh. And even just the neckline here at the back, it looks really good. Now, the other thing uh, that was interesting was in the live stream, they showed us the next coming hair in the next patch. So I'm gonna get my handy dandy editor to put that on the screen. Isn't this beautiful? Um, so yeah, there's gonna be uh, this new hair, which looks great. But what interested me more is they did actually leak, maybe deliberately, I don't know if it was a mistake or not, maybe they're teasing us, but you can see there's extra hair swatches, okay? There's more black hairs, which I'm personally most excited about because the black hair looks blue a lot of the time, like a blue undertone. More browns, and also we have more blondes being added as well. But I'm really looking forward to that because I think hair swatches in general are really what the game needs. I mean, why add all of these beautiful, new, diverse hairstyles when you're not adding the colors? that properly represent the different browns and blacks that you have out there. I mean, blondes too. I mean, the iconic baby poo blondes. <sighs> Gives me the heebie-jeebies. The other thing they mentioned was uh, some base game traits have been enhanced. It's very vague what they said, but something like bookworms will now gain a lot more fun from reading books, like that kind of thing. Um, very vague, I wish they could have said a bit more. So that's that's the new stuff to do with traits, but let's jump into the gameplay. Okay, we are in the beautiful world of Willow Creek and we're gonna check out bunk beds. Oh, also that reminds me, the dust, uh, bust the dust pack has had some adjustments as well in the pack, so it's, Apparently not gonna get dusty as quickly. And then in the next patch, they're gonna fix how much money you make. Okay, bunk beds, hype. <gasps> and here they are. Okay, I'm actually really excited about this. So check it out, bunk beds, you guys. What the heck? Wow, okay, we also have double ladders here. There's also this auto bunk bed option as well. I think this is like, if you place a bunk bed on a wall, it's gonna automatically remove one of the ladders. So these are bunk beds, you guys. So we obviously have the wireframe one, and we also have the, or not wireframe, but like this, the metal one and the wooden one. And check it out. It looks like the underneath beds um, can, can come out and you can place them under different options. Okay, cool. Well, let's get the kitty winkles into the bunk bed um, and let's watch watch the animation. There's also a new option here where kids can read under the covers, which I really love. <gasps> oh my gosh, that was so fun to see. Oh, oh, and they have the little creativity pop-ups. 
That's adorable. That okay, that's really cute. Uh okay, fun's going up. Cool. So they will enjoy reading. That's good. It works on their um skill as well. Now, in terms of toddlers, toddlers can only sleep in toddler beds, so they can't interact with this bunk bed at all. Uh, in terms of adults, I believe the adults can climb a bunk bed, which is cool. Let's all hop into our bunk beds, people. Oh, they're, they're happy about the bunk beds, I think. And look at this. Nice. Good animation. Oh, and look at it come down from the bunk bed. Oh, that's so cool. Now, there's also another new thing to do with beds, and that is Sims can now relax with... um. I think a more slouched animation. Okay, I think that's new. But the other thing is they can watch TV. So you can sit up in your bunk bed. We can build a wall over here. I'm just going to bulldoze this lot because I can't see anything. Okay, this is much better. We can see clearly now. <laughs> Apologies. So I can turn on the TV and she can watch from her bed, which uh, is cute. You know, she's chilling out. She's watching the TV. Honestly... I thought we could already do that. I didn't even realize we couldn't. And I kind of wish they added to this update that they could read in bed. If toddlers can read under the covers, it would have been cool to let adults read in bed, you know, whilst in a slouched position. That would have been nice, but hey, you know, beggars can't be choosers. And believe me, I am a beggar when it comes to Sims uh, wanting more stuff. Okay, so bunk beds, hype. Bunk beds are really cool. I think they're gonna make everyone's Bedrooms look so good. I'm excited to see what people do with build mode. Uh, I'm excited to do a bunk bed build. But just to have a look at some of the different swatches here. Uh, I do have a little bone to pick with, like, I love the design of it, but I really wish the wood grain wasn't as blurred. But hey, it's got to go with base game, I suppose, and it would look like it didn't go with base game if they enhanced it. So the next bunk beds, the next iteration, they said, of bunk beds, I'm really excited to see some more exciting designs. I do think these are a really good start, though. And I also find it really interesting that at first I was really excited because I thought they added double swatches. It's actually just um, you can place any bed you want underneath. The only thing with placing any bed is that the, the actual frame of the bed isn't going to match. So if you wanted to have a pink duna cover, you have to put it with another white colored um, object. Now, the other thing is we can place beds under there, obviously. But um, what people were obviously disappointed about is that you can't place a desk under here or a couch under here. So far, I believe, judging by the patch notes, they said um, that in the future this will be improved. So I guess we'll wait and see about that. But if we put move objects on, obviously we can place whatever we want under there. I'm not sure the Sims are going to be able to use it though. Oh, heck yeah, they can. Wait, okay, so with the move objects on cheat, you can use them. Hello from the future. I just realized that I made a boo-boo. You can put objects underneath a bunk bed with the move objects on cheat. However, you will not be able to use the bunk bed. So you can't use them at the same time. Uh, sorry, I made a mistake. Anyway, so now I've seen bunk beds. Bunk beds are looking absolutely great. Um, apart from a couple of design elements. I like them. I think they've done a good job. But the next thing that I really want to show you guys that I'm personally more excited about than bunk beds, because for me, I don't know, this really, like, I was just so happy to see this. Um, they've updated a lot of base game posters to be more inclusive and to showcase more diversity. So on this wall, I've just gotten out some uh, base game posters that you'll probably recognize and know. Um, but if we go to swatches, you'll notice that if you zoom in on the posters, pardon me, uh, there's more diversity in terms of the characters that are in them. And I was so happy to see this. Like, I don't know, it just it just warms my heart. And look at this, look at the, the gay representation and also that there's um, representation of different ethnicities as well. It's really good to see. So I love this. The beautiful Jerry, who we love and adore, 
Jerry now also has some other family members in his frame. I mean, love. Absolutely love. How cool are these? I mean, this is what the world needs, you know? I'm sorry, Jerry, you've been canceled. <laughs> I also love the stylistic approach to it as well with the vignette, vignette, or however you say it, I always say vignette. So uh, Harry Potter, dude here, you know, seeing some diversity there. We've got more diversity in the poster here as well. Uh, this soccer player, love to see it. Even this chef poster has a few different options. And then this one's really cool too. So yeah, you can see some different ethnicities there, which is awesome to see as well. I think I think this is the best thing in the update. They also said something about normalizing everyday activities. So like, for example, when your sim needs to get to work, uh, everything's not gonna take as long. So maybe we should just test that out. So I think it was stuff like having a shower, going to the bathroom, having breakfast. Again, I wish, seeming as though they went to the trouble of doing a live stream, they actually showed this because it is a little bit hard to grasp and fully understand what they mean. Like at first I thought it was just a one click multi-action type of update where like there's a get ready for work option. But I think they just mean the actions are slower. I mean, quicker. What am I talking about? Okay, I need more coffee. <laughs> so let's put together a really ugly kitchen because we love that. And let's see, like take a shower, take a shower, use the toilet, and then we're gonna have a quick, hopefully a quick meal is actually gonna be a quick meal. So let's fast forward through this. Usually it's gonna take quite some time. I think that was a little quicker. I think it was. So I guess normalizing actions means it's just gonna take a, l a little while. Okay, wait, that was a quick meal, but how long is she gonna take to eat it is the question. Well, it's kind of hard when she's doing other stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah, she definitely finished that way more quickly. So that's, that is, that is speedy. That is speedy, speedy Gonzalez. Ah, my legs fall asleep. And yeah, honestly, I have no idea what this normalizing of base game traits is. Like, I need more examples of this. I re they, sh they needed to show this in the live stream, I think. Okay, well, fun's going through the roof anyway, so it's kind of hard to see. But it looks like she was having a really good time reading because she's a bookworm, so there you go. Okay, I'm just looking at my notes. I think I've gone through everything. Uh, toddlers will now eat their food, which is good because toddlers do need a lot of fixes, so that's good to see. Um, and they wanted to address people requesting a lot of things and features, and they wanted us to know that they hear us. So for things such as cars or highly requested features, um, they are at the top of their minds and they know about them, but they just explained new content takes a lot of processes. It takes a lot of time to meet people's expectations and to deliver quality updates. So I guess they just wanted to say, hey, we are listening to what you want. It's not like we don't know that you want things like cars, but it's gonna take us a long time to implement them. So I don't know, I think the fact that they mentioned cars might mean that they're working on it or hoping to, or maybe it was a bad example and they're not actually able to put cars in the game. I don't know, but I did think it was interesting that they addressed it and there are very high expectations and they're working on it. So hopefully we get cars <laughs> at some point. At least we got bunk beds there. Let's get a racing car bunk bed. That's my request. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know uh, what I've missed. I am sure I've missed something. And as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.